According to the CDC, only about 37% of the U.S. population have received two doses of the COVID-19 vaccines. That's just over 100 million people. More than 150 million people have received at least one dose. But as time goes on, there seems to be more hesitancy among those who have not yet been vaccinated, and that affects and could potentially harm all of us. CPG comes to the rescue, and they're trying to tempt people to get vaccinated by bribing them with free foods and a media blitz. Budweiser is offering free beer. Of course, you have to be over 21. Junior's Restaurant in New York City is offering a free mini cheesecake. Krispy Kreme will give you a free donut every day for the rest of this year when you show your vaccination card on each visit. And on the day you get vaccinated, Nathan's will give you a free hot dog in New York City only. Now, not to be outdone, White Castle is offering a free dessert on a stick. They have four varieties to choose from. Unilever is giving free popsicles and Klondike shakes today, this Friday, May 14th, in New York. Los Angeles, St. Louis, Memphis, Dallas-Fort Worth, and Phoenix, but only for today. McDonald's isn't giving away any food or beverages, but they will print some 50 million coffee cups with the slogan, We Can Do This, as part of a partnership with the White House to promote getting vaccinated. Now, vaccine hesitancy is increasingly becoming a major problem in this country. In a Kaiser Family Foundation survey, 47% of people who say they want to wait and see before being vaccinated said that paid time off to get it would likely make them do so. And 39% said they want a financial incentive of 200 bucks from their employer, and that would work. Now, I don't mean to be hypercritical. And in all transparency, I've had my two doses of the vaccine. But using bribery, whether it's in the form of free food or cash, in my mind, will not be as effective as truly understanding how to communicate with people about the benefits of the vaccine. Yes, there will always be some, hopefully a small percentage of people, that will refuse to take the vaccine. But our language needs to be better. The reality is that according to the CDC, there have been over 32 million cases of COVID-19 here in the U.S. Confirmed deaths are now well over 500,000, with new reports emerging that estimates are wrong and that the reality is closer to a million. Let's be a bit stronger in our messages, shouldn't we?